When your AC stops working, just call the experts at KS Services Heating and Air. They're fast and affordable. Right now, purchase any Bryant Energy Efficient System and save with 0% interest for 60 months with approved credit. It comes included with a five-year labor warranty. And our fair price guarantee means that we will always give you three quotes for every situation. A good, better, and best. Call KS Services Heating and Air today. We roll on whatever it takes. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, August the 27th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Satellite image this morning looks uh, fairly similar to yesterday morning with a good deal of cloudiness stretching across the southeastern U.S., all thanks to Harvey off to our west over southeast Texas. Our surface map doesn't look terribly different from yesterday. Uh, the main feature being Harvey over the southeastern part of Texas along the southeast Texas coast. In the upper atmosphere, uh, we see the low pressure uh, representing Harvey. Uh, over the southeast Texas area, as well as a nice trough coming into the western Great Lakes. Uh, there's some uh, question as to whether that trough could influence Harvey um, or not. Uh, the temperatures this morning generally in the lower 70s across the central Alabama area, a little bit cooler in the Tennessee River Valley where they're in the upper 60s for the most part, although I noticed 64 at Fort Payne. That must seem very nice. Radar, not quite as uh, active over Alabama today as it was yesterday, but uh, the upper air sounding from the Shelby County Airport last night again showed a dry layer uh, uh, just off the surface from about uh, 900 to 600 millibars. So uh, any clouds that do precipitate are not likely if that for that precipitation to reach the ground. Watch warning map still um, a bit active over southeast Texas and southwestern Louisiana uh, with tornado watches, flash flood watches, flash flood warnings, just all kinds of things going on. Uh, the uh, actual Precipitation so far, based on a combination of um, estimates from radar as well as uh, reports through the Advanced Hydrologic uh, Information System of the National Weather Service, showing areas of uh, plus 10 inches there uh, around Corpus Christi and then also up uh, just to the west of Houston with additional rains uh, possibility here for the next uh, several days. The uh, QPF continues to show the possibility of up to 25 inches just to the west of the Houston area and uh, north of Corpus Christi in the vicinity of Victoria. Uh, the um, WPC guys showing high risk uh, for the next three days actually over southeast Texas for excessive rainfall. Storm Prediction Center has a slight risk in that vicinity. Of course, they have a tornado watch in effect down there. Uh, and it's probably going to stay in effect uh, as long as Harvey continues to meander down there. Day two, uh, the slight risk still along the southeast Texas coast and southwest uh, Louisiana coast. For day three, they, they go back to marginal. And there's a look at the uh, tropical area. We are seeing some cloudiness move off of Africa. That could be the next uh, system that we'll be watching. In the meantime, the one over Florida is uh, likely to move out over the Atlantic uh, uh, later today and into uh, Monday, first thing. And as it does, it's likely to stay pretty close to the coast. And with the better conditions over the Gulf Stream, it's likely to develop into a tropical or possibly subtropical system. Um, over southeast Texas, of course, uh, Harvey has been meandering since it made uh, landfall there. And the National Hurricane Center's track continues to show uh, Harvey meandering uh, back out to near the coast, but maintaining itself as a depression. Uh, it is a tropical storm right now, but it's likely to be downgraded to a depression. And I hate using the word downgraded. Uh, yes, it's downgraded to a depression, but catastrophic flooding is still likely to occur. All right, the 06C GFS model runs, and I apologize for the maps looking a little bit different, but we had a problem getting uh, maps that I usually get from Weatherbell this morning. Uh, so I had to use an alternative source. There's our uh, surface map and still showing uh, most of uh, Alabama and Georgia dry as we're kind of between the two tropical systems, the one over Florida and the one over southeast Texas. At 500 millibars on uh, Monday, you can see that we have a nice trough moving across. My concern is that uh, the trough may be strong enough to actually influence Harvey. Um, I know <coughs> I mentioned uh, Elena in 1985 
and it did influence it, and it was further, the trough was further away from the system, from Elena, than this trough is from Harvey. So we need to keep a watchful eye on that. In the meantime, though, it looks like uh, we may have to introduce a very small chance for an isolated shower or two, but I think for the most part, most of us stay dry as we head into Monday. For Tuesday, the trough move is moving by nicely across the uh, Indiana and the Ohio River Valley, and uh, once again, it seems like it's going to be leaving uh, Harvey behind, uh, and uh, moisture levels do come up somewhat on Tuesday, so I think we'll have to introduce a small chance for showers. The trough um, manages to go by, but we're leaving a trough over the eastern part of the country on uh, Wednesday, and so it looks like uh, Wednesday and Thursday could be our better days for rain in this area as a weak front uh, moves down into our area. In the meantime, the GFS develops that system out in the Atlantic, but moves it away from the U.S. Thursday, uh, this is probably going to be our wettest day here as that uh, frontal zone drops into our area and precipitable water values come up pretty significantly. There's a look at precipitable water values coming up in the purple, uh, the, the uh, kind of the, uh, what do you say, the... <laughs> The uh, reddish-purple areas are uh, over two inches. F Friday, uh, the trough is by us, and, uh, and we're now seeing the, the uh, reflection of Harvey moving into northern Mexico, still showing precipitation over Texas, and, and we're staying in the soup. We stay in the moisture, and with the frontal zone stalling out, it looks like we should have, uh, once again, a fairly good chance for showers on Friday. Uh, the uh, overall... Uh, Weather system aloft begins to dampen out somewhat, uh, the trough does, uh, over the eastern part of the country as it weakens a little bit. But once again, we have nothing to push the moisture uh, away from us, so we stay in the possibility of showers on Saturday. And again, once again, on Sunday, even though the weather pattern is, uh, is weakening somewhat, nothing's pushing this moisture away, so we just stay in the showers. Looking out into voodoo country, the GFS is uh, once again pretty strong and bullish on keeping the trough over the eastern part of the country through, uh, this is September the 5th. It does look like we get a little warming period around the 6th, 7th of uh, September as we see a weak uh, upper ridge develop before that big system over south central Canada drops into eastern Canada and helps to once again develop a nice trough over the eastern part of the country with the ridge along the western U.S. and of course showing that we do have that nice system out in the Atlantic but not a threat to the United States. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. James Spann should be back in the saddle with the next edition first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, Always check back on the blog for notes on Alabama's weather. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day and Godspeed. AC broken? Just call KS Services Heating and Air. All Bryant energy efficient systems come with a five-year labor warranty. And our fair price guarantee means that we'll always give you three quotes for every situation. Just call KS Services Heating and Air today.